Hey guys and welcome back. So in my last tutorial we did code a lot for constructor chaining and uh, we did learn a lot about that also. But in this tutorial we're going to learn something which will help us to keep our code bug free. Yes, I'm talking about the limitation of this keyword corresponding to constructor chaining. Well, you might be wondering right now, oh, okay, but what is this topic is all about? Well, frankly speaking guys, whenever you are coding on constructor chaining and using this keyword, there is a proper way to use it. And if you are going to violate it, then you are going to get some of the errors, maybe some compile time error. So we are basically going to cover about those particular errors in this particular tutorial. So let's go for it. Alright guys, so now we're going to talk about a compilation error and its name is Recursive Constructor Invocation. Awful, right? <laughs> but the first thing that you need to know about it, that as I said, it's a compile time error. Okay? So the next question may be, uh, okay, uh, but in which time this type of error comes into the picture? I mean, can you, can you, can you please tell me some scenario where we're going to see some this kind of error okay so for the next five to ten minutes we're going to talk about this particular error and i'm going to create few scenarios where we'll be having this particular error okay and now i'm going to create a class and i'm going to create two particular constructors and both the constructor will call each other and do remember in this particular time it'll get this kind of errors okay so let's see this first and then we're gonna go for some more examples okay so let's go for it so guys let's see this program okay I have written it straight away over here because we have seen a lot of program like this in our previous tutorials okay so in order to save time the same example I mean the kind of same example I have taken over here as well okay so let's see this program that what I have written over here guys it's pretty simple there is a class called taste. There are two constructors for the class taste. One is default constructor, which has a print statement inside it called default constructor. And there is an int param constructor, which has also a print statement inside it called int param constructor. Now I have a main method here and I'm creating the taste class object using the default constructor. Now you guess the output. This is pretty simple. If I'm using test class constructor, then default constructor should be printed to my output console, right? So my in my output, default constructor will be printed. That's great. So now, as I have discussed in my previous tutorial, while I'm using the no args constructor, at that time, I want to use this constructor as well as this constructor. So during the time of the single object creation, I want to use both my constructors and in order to do that I need to use this call right here okay so I'll use this over here so I'll say this okay and over here I want to call this constructor right so what is there inside the parameter int right so I'll write 10 over here now this particular constructor is got called right so now what will happen? While I'm creating the test class object using the default constructor, the flow will come, the program flow will come here. Then uh, it also has a this call. So this will again take the flow to the next constructor that is calling. So now this particular constructor will execute first. So what is there inside it? In parameter constructor. So in the output first, int param constructor will be printed and after this once the execution for this constructor is finished the flow will go back again to the previous constructor I mean the uh, calling constructor and the rest of the line will be executed so what is over here default constructor so in my output default constructor will be printed right so default constructor and this example that you guys already have gone through right now comes the twist now I am doing what over here I'm calling the int param constructor from the default constructor right from this constructor I'm calling this constructor so now what I want 
I want to call again this constructor from this constructor. So how can I do that? Again, I need to have a this call, right? So I'll have a this over here. Then inside parameter, what I need to write? Do I need to write anything? No, because which constructor I want to call? The default constructor. So I have given just a simple parenthesis, nothing inside it. Okay? So now what will happen? You are trying to create the test class object using the default constructor. Flow comes here. Okay? Now again, uh, this is the first statement over here. So it wants to call another constructor which is of inch type. So the flow comes here again. Now this constructor again wants to call the no arcs constructor. That means again it wants to call that particular constructor which is calling this particular constructor. So this constructor wants to call this and this constructor is calling this. So both are calling each other. And you know what will happen right now guys? Now you are going to get an error called recursive constructor invocation. And it's a compile time error. So this thing you need to be aware about. The recursive constructor invocation is not possible in Java. Or some people call it cyclic constructor invocation. So this one is calling this, this one is calling this, it forms a cycle. So cyclic constructor invocation or recursive constructor invocation is not possible in Java. And this is the first thing that you need to learn about. So guys, right now let's create another scenario right here. I will not change the program, I am just going to add another constructor right here and I will remove this line from this particular constructor and I will have another constructor so I will write test and I will write double D okay and I will write a print statement right here saying uh, double constructor double param constructor, let's say double constructor uh, it doesn't matter. So now let's see in this type of scenario when we'll get recursive constructor invocation compilation error. Okay. Uh, in order to do that, what I need to do right here. Uh, so I'm creating the taste class object using the default constructor. The so default constructor is calling another constructor which is of int type, one param int type. So now the flow comes here, and while the flow is coming here. I want to call this constructor. So what I need to do, I need to is I need to use this, okay? And this is of which type? Double type. So I'll pass ten point one two here. Now the flow comes here. So generally, what is going to be happen? Now I'm trying to call the default constructor. Now default constructor is calling the int const int type constructor. Now int type constructor is again calling the double constructor. So double constructor will be printed first, then each part of constructor will be printed next, followed by default constructor. That one you know guys. So now what I'm going to do guys, in double param constructor, I want to again try to call the default constructor. So how can I do that? I write this over here with a parenthesis because I want to call the no arcs constructor. So what is going to be happen here? I'm going to call the no arcs constructor. The no arcs, the no arcs constructor is calling this constructor. The, I mean the int type constructor. Now the int param constructor is calling the double param constructor. Now again the double param constructor is calling the no arcs constructor. Now again we are going to get the same compilation error saying recursive constructor invocation. So these are the two uh, scenarios that I covered right here. So you may try it in your Eclipse or in Edit Plus or in Notepad++ whatever ID that you are using and try to generate this kind of errors. Because sometimes you might get this type of error while coding and you might wonder, well, why the hell I'm getting this error? <laughs> At that time you need to be sure that, okay, I'm getting this error for this particular reason. So guys, now let's talk about another compilation error that you may face while you are using this inside your constructor. I mean the this constructor call. You may get a compilation error saying the constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. It's a pretty sweet uh, compilation error. 
<laughs> but you know what? Uh, we need to understand when we'll get this type of compilation error. But let's see over here. I have written a program over here. It's a pretty simple, pretty sweet program. So I just have a test class over here. I do have two constructor. One is default constructor. One is int param constructor. In default constructor, I do have a uh, print statement saying hi. And I do have a print statement in the int uh, type constructor called by, right? Now, from this particular default constructor, I want to have a constructor call to the int param constructor. But guys, I'll do something change over here, right? Throughout the last two or three tutorial, I'm using the this constructor call as the first statement inside a constructor. Let's do it right here after the first line. So we have one line over here inside this constructor and I want to call this particular constructor. So if I want to do that, what I need to do, I need to use the this constructor call. So I'll write it over here in the second line this time. So I'll write this. And what should I put inside the parameter? I should put an integer value, right? So I'll, I'll put 10, right? So now whenever, if I'm trying, trying to create the test class object, saying test t equal to new test, then what will happen? I'm using the default constructor, right? So the call will be coming here. Now, hi will be printed in the output. Then, then what will happen? Then the flow will come to here. Then again, this is going to take this to over here. Then by will be printed. Isn't it guys? If you are thinking this, then you just need to remember this is incorrect. First of all, you are not going to get anything. Your program will not run itself. You are going to get a compile time error because of this particular line. So the this statement, the this call should be the first statement inside your constructor. But if you are putting it as the second statement, then you are going to get a compilation error saying this. Constructor call must be the first statement inside a constructor. So this is pretty much it about this particular compilation error. So guys, now we're going to try something that we never tried in our last few tutorials. So you might be wondering, what is that? Uh, okay, so here in my last example, I just added a few lines of more code right here. I've created actually another, uh, you know, constructor which accept a double parameter, right? So I have three constructor in my test class, a no ours constructor, an int ours constructor, and a double ours constructor. This prints hi, this prints by, and this prints uh, goodbye, okay? So now what I'm trying to do here, I want to create a test class object using this particular constructor. I mean the int param constructor. And what I want to do, while creating the object using this constructor, I want to use this constructor and this constructor. I mean, from one constructor only, I'm going to call both the, both no args and double args constructor. So is it possible? So guys, to do that, I need to have a this constructor call to call, in order to call this constructor. I also need a this constructor call in order to call this constructor. So I want to call this both two constructor from this particular constructor, right? So I write this here and first, and I want to uh, call the no arc constructor first. So I'll not put anything inside the this parenthesis. Again, I want to call this particular constructor. So again, I'll say this, and this time I want to call a double constructor. So I'll put 10.12 here. Now, now what I'm going to do, I'm right here 10. So test t equal to new test of 10. 10 means it's looking for a int param constructor. The flow is coming here. First is calling the no ars constructor. So the flow will go here. It will print high. Again it comes here. It's calling the double ars constructor. So flow will come here. It will, it will print goodbye. Then it will flow will again come back to here then it will print by. So our answer will be hi, goodbye, and bye. And if you are thinking this, again, there is a bug in our program. 
thing is you need to understand this so guys i told you that our program has a bug right but which particular line is causing that bug to see that i want to walk you through that same example that we have discussed in our last class okay so the first thing that i'm going to do over here i want to create three constructor one is default constructor over here as my class name is taste my constructor name is also going to be taste and i'll just have a print statement right over here saying hi okay and i'll have three more constructor one is of int type one is of double type so let's do a control v and control v over here to save our time and let's modify these constructors. Let's say the first constructor as int type and let's modify the print statement as by and let's say the third constructor is double type and, and let's modify the print statement as goodbye. Uh, that's it. So now as I said to you, while I'm trying to create the object for test class using the int type constructor at that time, I want to call both this constructor, both no argument constructor and the double argument constructor. So this particular constructor should call this constructor and this constructor. So I'm trying to call two constructor from a single constructor, right? So to call this no argument constructor, I should have a this call, right? And I shouldn't have anything inside the parameter as I'm calling the no args constructor. So now again, I want to call the double type constructor. So again, I'll have a this call over here saying a double values, let's say 10.12, all right? Now that's fine. Now what I need to do, I need to execute my program. For that, I need to have a main method. So I'll write uh, public static void main. I'll just simply write main and have a con control space. So I'll get my main method right here. And now I need to create the object for my taste class. So I'll write taste t equal to new taste and I want to call what? I want to call the int type constructor, this particular constructor. So I'll write 10 here again and I'll run the program. Now let's see what is going to be happen. And we're getting a compilation error. So let me make it bigger. So what is the error is saying? Constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. So we are calling the no args constructor, I mean this constructor, as the first statement from, from the in type constructor of test class. That makes sense. But again, we are trying to call the double param constructor as the second statement, which is violating our rule that constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. So a single constructor only can call one constructor. So if you want to make it two, then again, you want to have another this call. And if you are having another this call, then this will be a second statement, right? And it is violating that rule. And that's why we're getting this error saying constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. Hope this makes sense and you got this particular point as well. So guys, with this, we wrap up our session. But wait, you might be wondering right now, well, we learned so much about constructor chaining, but where we can use it? Tell me some practical scenario. Tell me the exact place where I can use the constructor chaining in my project or in my class. And if you're thinking that, then the next video is just for you. So see you in the next video.